Discover new features and design principles of iOS 17. Get a glimpse of Vision OS spatial design interfaces with depth, scale, windows, and immersion. Explore Figma's latest updates, Apple new UI kits for iOS, Mac OS, Vision OS, and we'll dive into the exciting new enhancements to SF Symbols 5. SF Symbols 5 library count more than 5,000 icons made to work perfectly with SF font. Over 700 additional symbols have been added. Creating custom symbols becomes quicker and more seamless with symbol components. This feature includes a collection of enclosure shapes, badges, and slashes that can be effortlessly incorporated into your custom symbols. Revamped symbols offer seamless motion with responsive layer movements and captivating animations. An enhanced structure and improved annotations define their visual representation and dynamic behavior. Experience expressiveness through configurable animations like appearing, bouncing, scaling, pulsing, and more adding vitality to interfaces and providing user feedback. Apple has taken a significant step towards empowering designers by releasing its first official Figma design kit for iOS, Vision OS, and Mac OS. This comprehensive kit encompasses a wide range of essential components, views, system interfaces, text styles, color styles, materials, and layout guides. With this kit at their disposal, designers can now swiftly create highly realistic iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and Vision OS app designs that align seamlessly with Apple's design principles. Introducing Figma's groundbreaking updates that bridge the gap between design and development. Get ready to unlock a world of possibilities to bring your best ideas to life. From seamless designing to lightning fast prototyping and building, Experience the speed of dev mode, revolutionizing the design to production journey in Figma. Unleash your creativity with adaptable designs at scale using the power of variables. Craft more immersive and realistic prototypes with fewer frames, pushing the boundaries of visual fidelity. Discover the magic of our enhanced auto layout functionality, revolutionizing the way you create dynamic and responsive designs. Join us on this exciting journey as we redefine the future of design and development collaboration. The new variables feature in Figma revolutionizes design scalability and consistency. With variables, you can define reusable values such as colors, text styles, and spacing, and apply them across your design files. This centralizes your design elements, ensuring consistency throughout different components and screens. Updates become a breeze, as modifying a variable automatically propagates the changes across your designs. Easily adapt your designs to different contexts by adjusting variables, allowing for effortless customization without manually modifying each instance. Collaborate seamlessly with your team, as variables provide a shared language for design elements, enhancing communication and iteration. Create realistic prototypes quickly and efficiently using advanced features like conditional logic, mathematical expressions, and variables, with the added convenience of inline preview, you can make changes swiftly. Variables in Figma simplify the process of building detailed prototypes, all while reducing the number of frames required. By utilizing variables alongside powerful features like expressions and conditionals, you can take your prototypes to the next level. Figma's auto layout updates introduce a range of powerful features that enhance your design experience. With these updates, you can now enjoy negative spacing, absolute positioning, text baseline alignment, canvas control, and more. Experience the freedom to design more and resize less with new functionalities like wrapping items to a new line and setting minimum and maximum widths and heights within auto layout. Elevate your design workflow with Figma's enhanced auto layout capabilities. Introducing Figma's Dev Mode the seamless connection between design and development. Designed for developers, Dev Mode simplifies converting designs into code by providing instant access to measurements, specifications, and styles. It acts as a secure browser inspector within your design file. Experience faster coding, streamlined design to development collaboration, and enhanced productivity. Discover the transformative potential of Figma's dev mode and unlock new levels of efficiency and synergy between design and development. Vision Pro is a new addition to the Apple family. I'm so excited about this product and can't wait to try it.
Apple's first spatial computer is a pair of VR glasses that transport you into a vast 3D space. You can do everything you usually do on your iPhone, iPad, or computer, like browsing the web, chatting with friends, FaceTiming family, playing games, and watching movies. The glasses offer high pixel density and more than a 4K TV, which is impressive. Despite being immersed in the virtual world, they provide a wide field of view, keeping you connected to your surroundings. The cool part is you can control it through voice commands, eye tracking, and hand gestures. You can also capture amazing 3D photos and videos, so your existing library of visuals will look incredible on this unique platform. Vision OS is the Apple Vision Pro operating system. We'll learn how to design great interfaces for spatial computing apps. We'll help you use what you already know about designing screens to create amazing experiences for Vision OS. You'll learn useful tips for UI elements, materials, and typography, and how to make experiences that are familiar and easy for people to use. iOS 17 is the next generation version of iOS. This update will bring exciting new features to messages, phones, and FaceTime. FaceTime will now be available on Apple TV and support continuity camera. You can customize the look for each person that calls, with the person who places the call able to customize their look. With standby, an iPhone placed horizontally turns into a little home hub that displays information like the calendar, time, home controls, and more, and live activities can also be shown in full screen. Also, you have the option to create animated stickers from your live photos. The update will introduce a standby mode, interactive widgets for a more engaging experience, and mood tracking and journaling features. Mac OS Sonoma is the latest version of the Mac operating system, bringing exciting new features. You can now enjoy interactive widgets directly on your desktop, providing convenient access to helpful information. Additionally, you'll have access to iPhone widgets on your Mac, keeping you updated on the go. To protect your privacy, a locked private browsing mode has been introduced. Keeping your favorite web apps in the dock is now easier than ever for quick access. Gamers will be delighted to find a dedicated game mode for Apple Silicon Macs, enhancing the gaming experience. Lastly, Apple TV-like screensavers have been added to add visual appeal during idle moments on your Mac. Let's talk about how iOS has changed over the years, and then we'll cover the foundation's design elements for iOS 17 and Vision OS. In the picture, you can see three screenshots of different iPhones. The first iPhone came out in 2007. If you look closely, you'll see that the status bar, where the time is shown, has changed. The menu bar at the bottom, where the applications are, looks very different too. It used to have a realistic design called skeuomorphic. Before iOS 7, flat design wasn't as common as now. When the flat design was introduced, it greatly impacted the design world but it's important to know that flat design has evolved to fit larger screens. At first, it was a big change from the realistic designs that were popular before, but as time went on, flat design became more refined and detailed. This evolution has brought a more consistent design style across different platforms. Now, it has simpler layouts, focuses more on the content, and improves visual clarity using techniques like blur sheets, gradients, and drop shadows. The design for iOS 17 stays the same following the existing guidelines. The design will be mostly similar to iOS 16 with flat elements, background blur, neutral gradients, subtle drop shadows, rounded corners, and large bold titles. However, there are important updates in Apple's interface guidelines for Vision OS, which we'll explore thoroughly. We'll discuss various topics like designing for Vision OS, spatial layout, immersive experiences, and more. These subjects will be extensively covered in the Design for Vision OS section. Bold fonts have become more common, with titles appearing large and bold. This change is because screens are now taller than before, so it makes sense to have larger titles. Accessibility is another important reason for using large fonts. Since billions of people of all ages use their phones daily, ensuring the content is clear and easy to read is crucial. In iOS, users can set very large fonts for apps that support accessibility, including all of Apple's built-in apps. This has become an expected feature for users. 
With larger screens, there's more room to showcase content. In the past, it made sense to remove any unnecessary elements and prioritize content. However, things have changed with the introduction of iPhone X and 8. Now we can enhance navigation by including status, navigation, and tab bars. Additionally, using cards can help organize different sections more effectively. Rounded corners on these cards give them a tactile and friendly feel. To add depth and context to your design, you can incorporate blurred backgrounds and drop shadows. These techniques create a sense of depth and make your content more engaging. Now let's talk about navigation, which is crucial because it directly impacts the user experience and usability of the app. Well-designed navigation ensures that users can easily find their way around the app. It reduces confusion and frustration allowing users to access the desired content or perform tasks quickly. The navigation bar is at the top of the screen and often contains a title or logo and navigation buttons, such as a back button or menu button. It helps users navigate back to previous screens or access additional options. It's the same principle for Vision OS. The navigation bar is at the top. Also, Vision OS uses a variable blur in the bar background. The variable blur anchors the bar above the scrolling content while keeping the view's glass material uniform and undivided. A tab bar is a row of tabs typically placed at the bottom of the screen, allowing users to switch between different sections or views with a single tap. Each tab represents a specific category or functionality. To make it easy for users to navigate your app, it's best to use as few tabs as possible. In iOS, it's recommended to have up to five tabs. And in Vision OS, iPad OS, and TVOS, you can have up to six tabs. It's also important to use short and clear titles for each tab. In Vision OS, the tab bar is always vertical and stays in a fixed position on the Windows side. When you see the tab bar, it expands automatically. To open a particular tab, you focus on it and tap it. However, when the tab bar is expanded, it may cover up some of the content behind it temporarily. Each tab always shows its symbol in the tab bar. The system displays the tab titles when you look at the tab bar. It's important to keep the tab titles short so that people can easily read them with a quick glance. A sidebar is a panel next to the main content area, vertically or horizontally. It offers extra navigation, options, or additional information to enhance the user experience in an app or website. Usually, a sidebar shows a list of sections, categories, or menu items that enable users to access various parts or features of the app or website. Now, let's talk about colors and gradients. Use a noticeable color to show that an element can be tapped or highlighted. Choosing the right colors and neutral tones is important for your design to succeed. For buttons and states, blue is a dependable and safe option. It's also a good idea to start with a light background in black text. Or if your design is in dark mode, go for a dark background with white text. This combination creates strong contrast and makes the text easy to read. Simplify your user interface to its essential aesthetics. When you consider adding an element, ask yourself if it's necessary. Avoid using heavy textures, 3D effects, and multiple shadows excessively unless your app is a game or has a specific theme. Instead, prioritize functional colors, cohesive gradients, and attractive typography to create a visually pleasing design. Here is the iOS palette color for light and dark mode. Apple employs specific colors in their native apps. Blue is the most commonly used color across the system, representing buttons, icons, and actionable elements. However, other colors are utilized to establish brand identity, such as yellow for notes, pink for Apple Music, and green for messages. During the design process, it's important to remember that red is typically associated with destructive actions, while green signifies successful actions. Colors carry meaning, and it's important to use them wisely. Red, green, blue, and neutral tones each have their significance. Red is commonly associated with destructive actions, green represents affirmative actions, blue is used for links, and neutral tones indicate inactive states. 
A color gradient is a gradual change from one color to another, and it can include multiple shades. Gradients are also called color transitions. They can smoothly blend similar colors or create a contrast between very different ones. Different types of gradients can be chosen, linear, radial, angular, and diamond. Each type provides distinct ways to add gradient effects to your design. Now let's talk about the buttons. It should be easy to tap and have sizes ranging from 30 to 60 points wide. It's also essential to leave sufficient space around the buttons. This helps users see and distinguish them from other screen elements, making it easy to select or activate them regardless of how they interact with the device. In standard iOS interfaces, Buttons are generally recommended to be at least 44 by 44 points in size. iOS and iPad OS have four button styles, each available in three sizes. Each combination of size and style has a different level of visual prominence. In Vision OS, with its enhanced capabilities, the recommended size increases to 60 x 60 points. These dimensions ensure that users can effortlessly select buttons using their fingers, a pointer, their eyes, or a remote control. Vision OS offers buttons in different sizes, depending on their shape and what they contain. A Vision OS button usually has a visible background to help people see it, and it also produces sound to give feedback when people interact with it. Usually, it's better to use circular or pill-shaped buttons. People tend to look towards a shape's corners, making it hard to keep their attention on the center. The more rounded a button is, the easier it is for people to focus on it. If you need to show a button on its own, using a pill-shaped button is preferable. It's better to use buttons with a noticeable background shape and fill. People find it easier to see a button when enclosed in a shape with a contrasting background fill. However, there are some exceptions. For example, if a button is placed in a toolbar, context menu, alert, or ornament, where the larger component already provides visibility, it may not need a contrasting shape and fill. Now let's talk about layout design, which is the process of arranging visual and textual elements on screen to grab a reader's attention and communicate information in a visually appealing way. Designers often follow principles such as alignment, visual hierarchy, and spacing when creating a compelling layout. These principles ensure a distinct and impactful design. The designer will use these standard design elements such as text, image, and shape for the layout and line for the separator. When designing a Vision OS layout, it's essential to consider certain principles, depth, scale, windows, and immersion. These principles are crucial in creating apps and games for a spatial operating system. Depth and scale are potent tools for establishing a hierarchy and highlighting content. Utilize depth to direct user focus and foster a feeling of immersion. You can enhance the user experience without causing distractions or unrealistic elements by using subtle depth and appropriate scaling. In Vision OS, windows have a similar look to those in other platforms, but with some key differences. The system displays window controls just outside a window's bounds, such as the tab bar and the share menu are placed next to or below the window. By default, a window is sized at 1306 by 734 points. Windows use a special unchangeable background material called glass, which allows light and both physical and virtual objects to be visible through the window. This glass material helps blend your content seamlessly with the user's surroundings. If you need to include extra controls that don't belong directly inside a window, you can use an ornament. An ornament allows you to provide app controls that are visually connected to a window without getting in the way of the system-provided controls. For example, a window's toolbar and tab bar are considered ornaments, the ornament appears to float in a plane that is parallel to the window, and they can include various user interface elements like buttons, segmented controls, and other views. Use negative space to draw attention to the content. Less visual clutter lets you focus on a few important elements simultaneously. Negative spacing creates breathing room, preventing your screen from being crowded with unnecessary elements. Apple typically uses margins between 16 and 20 pt, 
The safe area defines the area within a view that isn't covered by a navigation bar, tab bar, toolbar, or other views a view controller might provide. Typography is essential for clear and visually pleasing communication. It's about more than just fancy fonts. With a simple interface and focus on content, your typography will occupy a large part of the screen, varying from 50% to 90%. So it's important to choose an appealing font and adjust its weight, line height, and color for visual appeal and easy reading at any size. The default San Francisco font is recommended as Apple designed it for legibility and is consistently used in their apps. We'll also discuss font size, line height, line length, and contrast in more detail in the typography section. Mid Journey is perfect for generating beautiful concepts and inspirations for your designs and app icons. It is an AI platform that makes it easy for anyone to create high quality digital content and helps bring ideas to life with stunning images and more. The platform utilizes advanced technology and powerful AI algorithms to simplify the content creation process. To fix visual inconsistencies, Use Pixelmatter's Repair Tool or Photoshop's Content-Aware Fill. I will give you the link on how to use Content-Aware Fill in Photoshop. Also, upscale the image to 2x with the AI Image Upscaler plugin from Meng. App icon for Vision OS differs from the iOS one, which is circular instead of square. Also, it includes a background layer and one or two layers on top, producing a three-dimensional object that subtly expands when people view it. In this course, we'll take a step-by-step -step approach to creating a simple app design using Apple's Design Kit. Then you'll learn how to design a custom app, focusing on essential topics like mid-journey, creating an app icon, typography, and the new SF Symbol 5. We'll also create a web design to add some excitement and cover the topics of wireframes, UI patterns, color and gradients, spacing, and layout. And here's the best part. We'll save the most exciting part for last. We'll explore the world of spatial design using the Apple Vision OS Design Kit. This section will cover the topics of variables, auto layout updates, and advanced prototyping.